Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. It is Saturday. I don't know the date and it's almost 10 a.m. and I'm running a little bit behind. Not really because it's just what time I wanted to do things but I'm not really actually running behind for anything. But I have somewhat of a busy day. Luna girl. Hi, Bibi. Wanna go in the garage? Come on. Luna is absolutely the most nuts cat I've ever had. I thought my last one was pretty bad because he was half Siamese and Siamese cats are a little bit, a little feisty. I thought he was nuts. Absolutely not. Not compared to this little girl. But yeah, I kind of have a busy day today. I'm making my breakfast smoothie. Um, and then today, oh my gosh, this nails thing is really bothering me. I need to redo my nails like right now because I need to file them down because I'm taking another pottery class later today and your nails have to be short for it. I filed my nails down a little bit, but I'm gonna have to do it some more. And I also can't just file them down and go to the pottery class with them looking trash because Later, actually, maybe I could. Class is till four. Oh, that makes me feel a little bit better. I think we're gonna pivot. So my plan was to do my nails before I did anything today, just so it was out of the way. The filing of the nails, whatever. Yeah, that's easy. That's for my pottery class. But also later this evening, I have to film a TikTok collab. It's like a nighttime situation, but my hands are all up in it. So my nails can't look like trash. So mostly I needed to do my nails like and make them look nice for this TikTok video. But my pottery class is done at 4.30 and I'm probably not gonna film the video until like six or seven. So I could just do it after my pottery class. That might be actually better. I think that makes more sense. Then I feel less rushed. My plan, oh my God, I'm all over the place. Basically today, what I need to do is I need to drive all the way to Flower Mound, which is where my tailor is. So I'm gonna go to my tailor. I have three pairs of pants I need to bring to her. And then I'm gonna visit my parents while I'm out there because I'm never really out there. Come back home, feed Luna, get whatever else done I need to get done. Go to my pottery class. My pottery class is from 2.30 to 4.30. And then I need to film that TikTok this evening slash tonight. So I wanted, since my pottery class is at 2.30 and I have to come home first, I wanted to go to my parents at like 11, like get there at 11 and it's 10. So if I was gonna have to do my nails right now, which the nail part actually doesn't take that long, like doing them because the light dries them instantly. You don't have to wait for them to dry. It's getting this old shit off that takes a lot longer. So I was stressing myself out before I started filming of how I'm gonna get all this done and not be rushed for my whole day. But now we're gonna move the nails to later and I can actually do everything on time. I feel so much better. My smoothies look so disgusting now because I started adding spinach to my smoothies because I never eat my vegetables literally ever 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 so i'm like okay you know what this is the easiest way to get at least some veggies in because you can't taste it so it looks disgusting but it still tastes like fruit mm -hmm. i feel so much less stressed now that i moved the nails thing i can file them right now i'll probably go ahead and do that I need a straw. i'm gonna file them right now but i'm not gonna do them right now Ooh, also ooh, let's do this together hang on Look at my girl. Let's open this package. And yes, Luna does eat on this table. Okay, the lighting over here is better, but I ordered this on Amazon. Oh, this is not even, huh. This is what my brother sent me. Okay, I'm looking for this other package. It might be on the porch. I got the brow gel, the like got to be brow gel because no brow gel on this entire freaking earth holds my brow hairs up but everyone says that that one is like the one. So I ordered that on Amazon. My brother sent me this book that he started reading and suggests that I read it because we're both black kids that grew up in a white high school, white middle school, white neighborhood. And he started reading this book and he said it was like crazy. It's called, Why Are All the Black Kids Sitting Together in the Cafeteria? Very much my childhood. So he and, and my brother had the same exact experience because we grew up in the same place so he was like you need to read this so he bought it and sent it to me so i'm gonna start reading that and i'm sure vic will want to read it too 
You're not gonna fit in that box, girlfriend. Look at her. I know it's if you fits, you sits, but like you're not about to fit in that. Let me see if this other package came because I really wanted to try it. Let's see, my girl. Oh. Dang it. Sometimes Amazon does this. They deliver things into our mailbox and not our front door. And I don't know why, but it said it delivered and it's not on our front porch. So it was either stolen or maybe it's so small that it blew away or it's in the mailbox. Does it say? They said your package was left near the front door or porch. Hang on a sec, maybe it blew away. It is absolutely not on the porch. Is it this one? Guys, I think I'm losing my mind. If this is it, I'm about to... <laughs> I'm an idiot and we're just gonna move on, okay? It's right here, it was on the table. Okay, I wanna try this out with you guys. So it's the got to be glued for brows and edges. So you can use it on your edges too, but I'm, I got it for my brows. I already have an edge gel that I like, unless this one's better, fuck, I don't know. I will be shook the house down boots if this actually works. If you <laughs> have Asian brows or is, I don't know how many of my subscribers are Asian, but you might relate to the fact that like the brow hairs don't lay against your face so like to get them to stay is like impossible okay we're gonna see if this dries and stays i think it's actually working it's still drying but like so far they're still in place and i'm not even joking with any other brow gel i shit you not 20 seconds later they're already not standing like it doesn't even hold it for 30 seconds. So it's looking good for this. I'll have this linked um, in my Amazon shop. This shit works. I like it. I wasn't sure too if I was gonna like the fluffy brow on me because I've always had very structured brows. Okay, can you see the brows better here? I think it looks good and they're holding in place. I, I feel like it's still drying. I don't know, so far so good. I mean, I'll keep you updated throughout the day. I need to leave in like 10 minutes. I'm gonna go to my tailor and I only, I'm only bringing three pairs of jeans this time. I'm not even joking because it's so far. I usually wait until I have like a lot of things to bring and it's usually like seven things, but I only have three. But let me show you the pants that I'm bringing to the tailor. I accidentally left them upstairs and I need them. I lied, it's actually four pairs of pants. I recently got these cargo pants from 12th Tribe. I still wanna find like a true cargo pant. I think I found a pair, but I just have been spending too much money. I don't, not even like a lot. I've just, I just really need to not spend any money. But I got this more like cargo pant that I can wear to work type. I don't know, you know, there's like, there's like baggy tomboy cargo pants and then there's like i don't know these kind of cargo pants but i got these they're really cute and they fit pretty well but the waist is huge they're definitely not long enough but if i tailor them as high-waisted as i want then they kind of look like the rest of my jeans that are kind of like ankle grazing on purpose you know so these they're really cute again these are from 12th tribe on Instagram. I really like their stuff. They have really cute um, sweaters and like fall shit. Then I love these pants from Pretty Little Thing. They almost fit perfect, but I'm just at a phase in my life where if something doesn't fit like a fucking glove, I don't wanna wear it and it just sits in my closet hanging up because I'm not, if it's just a little loose or just like a little bit not the vibe, I don't even wanna wear it. So Pretty Little Thing sent me these pants and the matching blazer, the blazer is perfection but the pants actually fit pretty well i was shocked and they're long as shit and they're not even from the tall section these are from the regular section and they are touching the ground with heels like they're super long but they're just these gray like business looking trouser pants they do have a slit at the bottom in the side they're really cute and they literally fit almost perfect like this is the smallest waist pants i've gotten from any pants so far and they're almost perfect. They just need to get taken in like an inch. So we're gonna do that. 
These I've had forever and I've yet to wear them because they don't fit right, but I love them. These are from Dressed in Lala. They're like a light blue little flowy trouser pant. These almost fit perfect, but still too loose. These need to get taken in like two inches or so. And then these are from ASOS. They're the ASOS brand, ASOS design. And these are from the tall section. They're just like a an interesting colored. It's like not tan, but it's like not olive green either. It's kind of like a tan green brown. Um, and these almost fit perfect too, but they're still too loose. But they're like a cute kind of jean trouser, if that makes sense. Like it gives trouser vibes because it has like these pleats in the back and no pockets. And then the front also has these little pleats right here. I love it. I love the style of them and they're super, super long. I love them, but they're just too big. These will have to get taken in like two inches. So I'm taking these four pairs of pants. So yeah, that's the plan for the day. Taylor, parents, pottery, content. <sighs> I'm already tired just thinking about it. Careful, girl. You hit your little head. Oh. Hey, okay. you want to see what it is? Okay. Be careful, little nugget. Went to the tailor, dropped off my pants, and stopped by my parents' house. And of course, every time I go to my parents' house, they have something for me. I feel like I should turn the TV off, hang on. So, what I brought from my parents' house was my mom got us these Hint waters. She's been talking about it and she loves it. I've never had it or heard of it, but it's basically water with a hint of flavor. It has watermelon, blackberry, and pineapple, so... We'll have to try these. I feel like I should put them in the fridge, but I'll do that in a sec. She also got us these Doritos to try. I've never tried this flavor, but they're Twisted Southwest Ranch. Let's just try them right now. Hold on. It's got a hint of spice, but it's not spicy. Just has like a hint of spice. It's pretty good. It's kind of weird, but it's it's still good. Then my mom got Vic this granola for oatmeal. She got us the most random stuff. She got us these two things of tomato soup. Why? Who knows? And then she got us toilet paper. She just felt like maybe we need toilet paper. <laughs> I don't even know if we do. And then the most random thing is she got us these freaking paper plates. She's like, they're Thanksgiving themed. I was like, but why? Here, Luna, you want a box? Oh, Luna loves a new box. She's inspecting the new box. Oh, she's in it. What do you think, Luna? Do we like it? Hmm? Okay, she's washing her face in it, so I think she approves. Okay, it's a little bit later now. Sorry if it sounds loud. I noticed editing the last vlog that anytime in my car and the car's on, it doesn't sound great for you guys. And I didn't know that because I thought if I had the air like off or low that it wouldn't. Anyways, sorry if it sounds bad, but I just got in my car. I just finished my pottery class. I'm posting on my Instagram right now uh, what we made today. Not on my Instagram. Uh, feed but like my story so if you follow me on Instagram you might see it but it was so fun today was a mug making class and I loved my instructor today her name was Emily loved her we had like the deepest conversation after class I fucking love her she was amazing and my stuff from my last class was ready and I haven't looked at it yet and I'm scared because it was so long ago I feel like I don't remember what it looked like and obviously they they um glazed it and everything so I don't know what it looks like oh it's cute I made two bowls in my last class they're a little lopsided but I was still learning but I made this bowl and this one this one's a little bit smaller 
these are my first pottery pieces we're gonna hang on to this because i'm gonna get so much better and then i'm gonna look back at these and be like these are not great but at the in this moment i think that they're great and they're really cute i feel like i could put like guac in here they're pretty small i'm proud of myself i can't wait to show vic what we did today though like i already feel like i got better from my first class where I made these to today's class, I was better on the wheel and I learned a couple different techniques. That's the good thing about taking classes with different instructors. They're gonna have different techniques and one that one instructor says to do might not work for you and then the other one might. And I feel like I really finally figured out pulling up. I could not pull up in the first class. Like I couldn't figure it out and this time I did. You know when something's not clicking and you can't really make it click it just either clicks or it doesn't pulling up is one of those things the exact moment that it clicked and it felt i could feel it happening and like it was smooth and everything i was like i fucking get it i get it i know how to get there you know learning more each time but i'm i still love it i'm obsessed i can't wait for my seven week course i wish emily was going to be my seven week course teacher but she's not because she teaches during the week usually and i can only do this stuff on the weekends but yes just finished my pottery class and i'm sweating my ass off because i don't have my air on because i'm vlogging so i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna turn my air on literally right now okay it's several days later now it's wednesday the 28th and it's one o'clock i need to leave for my appointment that's at 1 30. i have my other tmj appointment today where we're doing like molds oh shit what is happening yeah i think today's supposed to be like a two-hour appointment and i'm getting all these some testing done and like these molds for the um i almost said expanders that's the next step i'm doing orthotics i have to get three orthotics but they said last time that they don't mind if i vlog so i thought i'd bring you guys along today but um it does take about 30 minutes to get there and i'm supposed to get there like 10 minutes early and i'm definitely gonna get there right on time Okay, I made it to my TMJ appointment right on time. Here I am in the room. They prepped everything for my molds and this is actually my scan, my MRI scan. Basically just showing how my jaw bone is rubbing up against the other bone. And then on top of getting the molds done today, I'm also doing some therapy work. I have really, really, really tight traps. Like everyone always comments on it. Any masseuse or chiropractor or anybody, anytime they just lay a finger on my traps they tell me that it's insane. Here, Dr. Coates, I go to Dr. Becky Coates in South Lake. So if you're in the Dallas area struggling with TMJ, definitely book a consultation with her. She's so thorough and so amazing and so knowledgeable on all of this. She is a TMJ specialist. So obviously she knows literally everything there is to know about it. But here she's just um, creating my molds and having me do different bites because basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have three different orthotic mouthpieces or appliances, whatever you wanna call it. One of them will be for during the day, so that is one particular bite position. And then I have two orthotics for the top and the bottom at night, which is a, a different bite also, I believe. So three different appliances. And that's what she's doing here. She's just um, having me do the specific bites for each appliance. And then she basically uses this little gun thing to shoot this material onto my teeth in the position that I'm holding it in. And then it creates the mold like that. So it's like a new modern way to do molds aside from that old fucking gross, disgusting way that people are used to that makes them gag and it's gross and it's like, bleh, nobody likes that. So this was way better and way easier. I wish they had been doing this all along. And she did explain all of this and you could hear the explanations in the video, but obviously it's a lot more technical, which nobody really understands. It's a lot of information. And also just all the background sounds of the facility in general, air conditioning, all the things. You could hear her, but you there was that dull sound in the back. So I decided just to do a voiceover and explain it in a way that I think everyone will understand a little bit better. And then this is one of my molds. Um, I know it's hard to see because she has a little flashlight on her like headpiece glasses thing, but she's just explaining how this is gonna help my bite position and what these appliances are gonna do for my jaw and for my mouth in general. It's gonna correct my bite and um, hold it in the position that it should be in all the time, all day, all night, 24 seven. That's what she's explaining here. Now my girl Tracy is just putting some stuff on my face for some of the jaw and neck and back therapy that I did. It was really relaxing. I got to lay in there for like, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour doing this really relaxing therapy. They put these headphones on me that was like relaxing 
massage type music. I fell asleep a little bit, but it was working on all of my muscles. Then we went into this other room and I really wanted to show you guys the testing that I do for that. But at this point I had run out of space on my camera. I was so mad, but I do this crazy muscle test for my face where they stick all these things to my face. And then I have this large contraption thing like hugging my head. And basically that device tracks all of my facial muscle movements. It's pretty cool. You can see on here that skull that's moving and all of the red and green. That's an actual visual representation of my actual face and jaw and bones and muscles moving. And here is Dr. Coach just kind of explaining everything a little bit further and going into detail of what the appliances are gonna do for me for the next four to six months. And yeah, it was a very long appointment, but I'm excited to get this journey going. And then in about a month, I will pick up my appliances. And when that happens, you guys will be along for the ride and you will see everything in real time. Hi, okay, so it is a lot later. <laughs> I don't know, like a week later maybe, but I was just editing the vlog that you're watching right now and I realized I never ended the vlog. I really truly thought that I did, but there's no clip of me ending the vlog. So I just thought I'd pop on Leah from the future and end this vlog. So the last thing you saw was me at my TMJ appointment. Ugh, I really wish I could have gotten more footage, but it's something about like, being at a professional establishment and like, I don't want to mess up their work or um, or like make them run behind because obviously it's a full functioning medical business where they have other people have appointments. So I'm always kind of like nervous and anxious and kind of like weird about vlogging at places like this. Cause I'm just like, they said it was fine, but I don't want to like stop them and be like, oh, let me film this. You know what I'm saying? So I just try to like, get it get in what i can basically but i really wish i got the footage of like the muscle head thing it's really it's a really interesting device i'll try to show you next time i don't have to do that test again for like maybe another i don't know three to six months or so but whenever i do i will make sure to get footage of that because it's like the coolest thing um but yeah basically on the tmj journey it's october 8th now i'm picking up my molds in like three more weeks and then I'll be wearing them 24 seven. So hopefully I can talk in them, but you guys will see in the vlogs, obviously. And then I did confirm a few vlogs back when I was just explaining what this whole journey was gonna be. I said that I hope I don't have to get braces. Bitch, I fucking do. Not anytime soon, probably in like a year, but I am gonna have to get braces again. And I am terrified and dreading it, but I'm kind of at a point where it's like, I'd rather have my jaw fixed and I will just make do with whatever with whatever we'll make it work um i know you guys won't judge me i'll i'll be judging myself harder than what you guys will judge me for so it should be fine but that's the update on that i just actually filmed a favorites video so this video will go up first and then my goal is to have the favorites video up like two or three days after this vlog goes up so be on the lookout for that video i also have a new idea for a series that i want to incorporate on this channel on my youtube channel i don't know it just came to me the other day y'all know that i i really 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 wanted to do the podcast i've still ever since we decided like we can't do that podcast I've been like racking my brain trying to figure out how can I still do a podcast like I really I really truly want to do a podcast and I honestly feel like that type of media and just sitting and like talking about different topics or whatever I feel like that is my calling call me crazy but I truly feel like my whole life I've tried to figure out like what am I here for what is my purpose what is my talent what am I just like exceptionally good at and I always come up short like I can't think of anything that I'm passionate about or that I truly love or that I could do non-stop or that I'm really good at or anything like that and I just feel like this whole podcast vibe of like talking giving advice talking to people interviewing people just talking in general <laughs> like is my calling and i even more so think that because it's strange how i became this way over growing up and over the years because as a kid when i tell you i would not speak i was like basically mute so to go from that to this i'm like i just truly in my heart and soul feel like this is my calling so all to say, I have this idea that would kind of mesh a podcast idea with YouTube, with what I'm wanting to do all into one. And I kind of just want to like, just do it. 
I'm, I usually like ease into things and like say, oh, maybe like we'll just try, like I try to just sugarcoat everything for myself and ease into things so that it's not as scary or it's not as direct or it's not as like, it's not as permanent or like scary. But with this idea, I'm kind of just like, fuck it, we ball, like we're doing it. That's how I feel. So in the near future, be on the lookout for a new type of video and follow me on Instagram because you'll get some hints over there for a particular reason. But yeah, that's the update. Ugh, the AC just turned on and it always sounds gross in here when that happens. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching, for following me on my TMJ journey and just life journey. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.